Hey y'all, it's Trisha. I am back again, and this time I want to go over the app Photoda, F-O-T-O-D-A. And I have it down here. And when you first open the app, it's gonna auto, oh my God, it's gonna automatically uh, mess with something that's already on your, uh, in your camera roll. This is awesome. I am saving that. That's a finished piece right there. Dang. That's using some of my uh, clay figures that I've made in the past. This app is a randomizer app is the best way I would describe this. You can um, tap on this and it will combine different photos within the album that you have selected for it. Now, I'm going to go over all of these, but there is this question mark right here. And it says, Welcome to Photodaw. Tap next to take the tour. So you can actually learn how to use the app. It's really simple. Tap anywhere on the image to generate a new Photodaw. Down here, you can save it. Save your creation. Over here, you can save or share. Uh, this one is you can you can actually have one undo or you can uh, choose a specific album. Um, this is where you can choose your photos. This is a very important one right here. And this one is where you can pin a specific image so that it will use it in every image that it generates. Uh, this 1x right here is your resolution. You want to save it at the highest resolution possible. And then you can reveal the images that are used in your creation. And you can re-blend if you want to. Oh, and then they, they want you to uh, watch your photo doll as, as it's created. It already does that. Never mind. That's it. And then you can finish. So that's the instructions on the app. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've, you have almost no control with this, which what I tend to do is create a folder on my iPad and I put images in there that I think might blend nicely together or that I want for a certain look or a certain piece. If I want florals, I put a bunch of flowers in there. If I want, you know, figures, I, I do that. So I'm going to go up under Recents, and I have made a photo dot app. And I have a whole bunch of photos in here that are just crazy. So uh, what I want to do is I'm going to click in some of these that I want to use. Let's use that crazy one. And I'm just, I'm gonna pick a good variety of things. And some of these, maybe that one and that one. I like these. Let's get some of these nice backgrounds. Maybe that one. That one. Okay. We have about 30 of them. That's that's good. We're done. So now it'll take those and it'll start generating. But I want to pin an image to this. I want it to use one specific image in every, every piece. So I'm going to go down to the gear wheel. I'm not going to worry about this segments off or on. I'm going to leave that off for now. And I'm going to, oh, I need to go back into my folder where I have my little guy here, my little clay figure here. And it's going to be, and then I'm going to tap in the middle. And as you can see, it will blend these together. And this is, this is okay. But you can also go back up here under your stack and you can see what images it's using to generate this. And you can regenerate it, which is basically the same as reblending. But with reblending, you get this is really cool. I'm going to save this. 
Yes, I really like that. And you can keep reblending until you've gone through about enough. And then you can just start a new image by tapping in the middle. And see, it's just using these two. And when it only chooses two images, you don't get a lot of choice in this. I, I like this one. I'm saving it. <clears throat> so I like it to blend. How many can it hold? Maybe seven or eight. And sometimes it's used that many. It's pretty cool. So reblend. See, not much difference. So we're going to tap in the middle. This is literally the app. And you can spend hours with this in front of the TV. So you see what you're using. And just play around with this. See, that's cool. And it uses different blend modes. It, it's, it's just a great randomizer. Kind of a fun. That's interesting. I do like that. I don't know if I would use that. You never know, I can always delete it later. If I don't like it, you can delete. You have the power to delete. <gasps> oh, that's cool too. Yes, need that. I made these, uh, I used to work in polymer clay. Actually, I still do, but I'm kind of in the jelly print mode right now. As artists, we do that. We have several different mediums we like to work in. So we go back and forth like that. Let's try to reblend that. So this is the app. You can create some fabulous backgrounds. You can create some fabulous. Oh, look at this. This will be good. This is using one of Froil Davies stencils. Um, I did a little video on her stuff. Anyway, that's Photodaw. It is a really cool app. I love using this app. It's one of my favorite ones. And if I am stuck for inspiration, sometimes if I don't want to just come in and make backgrounds on my gel plate, I'll take my iPad and start playing around in this app. And this is using gel, plate, gel prints that I have saved on my iPad. Um... I take a lot of photos of my work because you never know something as simple as, let me see if I can grab it, as this brayer off can be really exciting to work with in your art. I've used these in my art and even this right here is one of these, one of these that I've done. So. I encourage everyone to play around with their own artwork on the iPad because you can create some really cool things. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you try out this app. I think it's only like $2.99 or something. I'll put a link to that in the description box. And if you like this, you know, I, I plan to do a lot of app videos just on the apps that I like and use. So let me know what y'all think. Anyway, I hope you have a great week. Bye.